the dust. <laughs> so this is the long foam roller. Yeah. Um, and then this is the short foam roller. I like this one better because it travels better and it That's can be used for quite a few things. This one's also hollow. Um, so when we pack it, you can put. Yeah, this is you know typically what we roll the bottle of wine inside a shirt oh. and then put it in there. So okay. yes, I put so. my my socks in there. Yeah, exactly. Socks, it's, it's, it travels much better than yeah. you know a solid one. So a couple of exercises um, that you can do one for the front of your shins to start yeah. with. Yes, foam rollers are always better on the ground. Grab your water. In this case, oh yes, thank you. Of course. In this case, we're going to do the table. So one thing that you can do is use. Some kind of support, okay? Don't yeah. try to like, you know, get on all fours, especially if your back hurts. Like, just ease into it. Um, this one has a little bit of softness and some give to it on the outside. And they make beginner foam rollers um, that are a little yeah. bit softer with more give, and then they yes. make some that are practically PVC pipes. So yeah. you don't want to use that's a, like torture. New to foam rolling, yes. So start with one leg at a time. This one, I'm trying to massage my shin out here, so you can just kind of go one leg at a time, especially at this area. Are you putting more weight on your opposite leg then? Yes, so okay. I'm putting more weight on my opposite leg, and then gently as I'm able to, I'm increasing the amount of weight that I'm putting Shifting on it over. this guy right here. So right, okay. you can shift that weight over as you can tolerate it. You can switch sides and do the other side. And if you're advanced and you've done foam rolling for a while, or if that area is too tight, Right, exactly, and you want to try it, yeah. then what you can Gross. do is you can just kind of climb onto it. Please make sure you have a wall or something yeah. next to you. I like to put my hands here, and then you can just bring your knees forward. I haven't tried that one yet. Just like this. So this one is how you can roll that out. The long foam roller. Mm -hmm. I'm going to let you do the icy sure. band one. <laughs> we get to the icy band better. This is the long foam roller. This guy is nice to do your whole spine. Um, really, the whole spine rollout is the only benefit that I find with the long foam roller. Yeah. I, in general, definitely prefer the well, short foam Even the small one where it's a foot long, that's enough for most people out unless you're, your David card is your husband. He's <laughs> eight, eight, five, yes. and, and yeah, five. Yes, this is the Shaquille O'Neal size. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So. <laughs> Same. This one um, you can do to lay over and kind of get on your oh, yeah, back. Right, no, there you go. right. so if you want to, oh thank you. Have someone help you. You want to kind of sit right at the tip of it and then just uh, lean on back. This is the, the spine one. opener. Yeah. You do need the long one to do the spine yeah. opener for this one. And then you just gently will kind of rock one way and rock the other way. Left to right side. Left to right. Right. So that's really the only benefit of this long one. You can't do this with the little one. But mm -hmm. With the big one, you can do the spine opener. If you want to do something similar with that and open your back up kind of a long ways like this, you can put this sideways mm -hmm. underneath your back and you put it right under your bottom and just gently get to the part where it hurts. So if you have pain here in the lumbar spine, you'll put it right up against your bottom as far as it'll go and then you'll gently walk down over it to open up your spine and open that up when you move my shirt so you can see. Just there like that. There it is. Okay. Yes. It's like that's the shaft. Like this here. <laughs> oh. And then if you have more in your mid to you know thoracic area, then you can open up slowly. Are you holding it there or are you rolling so. back and forth also? First I'm starting just in a stationary spot. position okay. just to find the spot that is, you know, most tolerable and most comfortable. Yes. And then as you're able to then you can kind of bring your feet up and you just kind of go back and forth and just kind of work on that spot. Nice. My brother is super advanced and can do like his whole spine in yeah. one shot. But, um, wow. And then the other way that you can do it, you can use it kind of like a neck roll and just set it right there. Um, this is good for if you're doing a floor routine, um, but you don't want to leave your neck in this position for too long because it does kind of get a like sit -ups, flexion here, you know, position, leg lifts, so. things like that. Exactly. So that's good if you're doing your floor routine. And then nice. if you want, you can do the IT band. Well, do the quads good. too? The quad. Oh yeah, the quads are good too. And what I do is I just do it because it feels good. And I do this every day before I go to bed when I wake up in the morning. That plan can actually work out and do it. So what I do, I just hold the plank position. At that point, I have my opposite leg hold most of my body weight to start, and I'll bring things over to my leg I'm working with and roll back and forth. Okay, I have consider longer legs, but what I do is do, for example, the upper part first, maybe four or five passes on that area, go back and forth with it, and I'll switch, go more towards my knee. 
I'm going to ask the Lord to me first. That's why nice. I'm going to come up and down. And you guys, one, one uh, film roll, just a quick video with a kid who played soccer, and he couldn't even breathe because his, his quads were so tight. Yes, definitely the first time I film rolled my quads, it was. Oh, yeah, like, me too. I was my breath away. Like, like, couldn't breathe. That, yes. That's how you look at someone's face, like, same thing. When they're doing it the right way, you'll know. Yes, and yeah. it's kind of an intro step to this. If you're not quite at this part, yeah. that's what you're currently stinking yeah. for. Okay, so that's. Don't this only kick yourself with it, but like right roll out your quad. Yeah, so you can roll out your quad with something like and, a stick. And once you've and done this four or five times, which side? And again, I'm, what I'm doing on this side, if I put it over here so you see my opposite leg, I'm putting my leg out, and Brian might have a different, different method for this. That point, my weight's here that's on important. that side. Until I can put more weight on that, but like I'm working with. Yes, All and I agree. Through. That's a great way to start. Just so you, yeah. again, you can kind of ease from one side onto the other and kind of let the weight slowly, slowly, slowly. Yeah, that point, and, and what I, I think I do it every day, that point it doesn't hang up on me. I miss a couple of days, you know, to like to do cardio, whatever it is, too, run our feet all day, then it's going to hurt. Yes. I like pain. Yeah. You're trying to do that by that point. You have a routine doing it. You actually work well. You recommend that people do that before work, after work, or what's your recommendation? Whatever feels good. So and it's kind well, of depends on your work. job. So okay. like and on the time. So like if you're gonna be up on your feet all day yeah. and you're very active, if you're in construction or if you're a surfer or if you're on your feet back and forth, if you're a nurse or somebody that's literally on your feet all day long, um, foam roll before. Exactly. Um, so warm that way you can warm it up and loosen those muscles so you don't accidentally like lean and pull something and you're not turning around really fast and pull something. Um, so do this before, but if you're going to be more sedentary with your job, yes. so if you're going to sit all day long or if you're going to just be kind of standing in one position and it's not really being super active, um, then you want to foam roll after work. So that way those muscles that got stiff in one position all day long can get nice and loose again at the end of the day. This blood flux too. I would not recommend using this with an active blood clot right. because we don't want to dislodge yeah. anything yeah. up yeah. into the circulation. Yeah. However, if you don't have a blood clot, in theory, this could help prevent that because you're kind of massaging the muscles. Blood the blood right. Assuming that someone doesn't have you know, some underlying health condition. If you're yeah. otherwise healthy, this can kind of help improve your circulation. So one thing is, have a blood clot, maybe not. But check with your doctor first. Yes, yes, cool. absolutely. Hi, you Ben. And I see that I'm going to be the next one. Yes, this one's like, like this the bringer of death. Yeah. You see, Adam's like, oh, gosh. I know, sorry. So it's okay. So I'm going to go, uh, tell me if I'm doing the right. Perfect, yeah. It's okay, and I'm going to put the weight again on my elbows. Yes. Come back and forth. Perfect for me. This doesn't feel very good. Yes. I do this more often. I know, I feel bad you were nice uh, enough to come do a podcast with me, and here I'm yeah. torturing you at the phone. <laughs> Thank you.